Hi there, students. Therianthropy. Therianthropy. Okay, this is the ability to change into an animal or to uh, metamorphose into a hybrid. Um, this is a shapeshifter. Let's see, the most common form of uh, therianthropy is lycanthropy, is where somebody is turned into um, a wolf. But there are various other ones that are common as well. Um, synanthropy, transforming into a dog. Iluranthropy, transforming into a cat. Uh, this is what they, they say that witches do. Um, okay, so the, this is the idea of trans, tra transforming into an animal, having the ability to uh, change into uh, an animal. Sometimes people use the word zoanthropy as well, okay? But zerianthropy, uh, therianthropy, to, the, the, to be a shapeshifter, to change into the form of uh, an animal. The Native Americans have a um, a legend about therianthropy, where if if you want to change into an animal, then you must be wearing the skin of that specific animal. Um, or, for example, there are there are many ther ther uh, uh, therianthropic uh, gods. The ancient Egyptians um, had. Uh, had set or applied theriomorphism or uh, theriomorphism to zoomorphism to their gods, and they, the, for example, uh, Ra or other uh, Egyptian gods, they had the body of an animal, or oh, sorry, the body of a human, and the head of an animal. And this is this is the idea of um, uh, zoomorphism or ther or theriomorphism, uh, re representing something in the form of an animal. So uh, a theriomorph, yeah, okay, something that has the form of an animal. Very often in our lives nowadays, we have things that, like the handle of a door or a door knocker, could be in the shape of uh, a cat or the shape of a lion. Okay, these are seriomorphic objects. Um, seriomorphic, uh, a seriomorphic god is possessing the form of uh, of an animal. So yes, there are ver various uh, seriomorphic gods that have the the form of an an animal. I was thinking of Hanuman and Ganesha uh, from India. These are gods that have uh, the form of an animal, or at least the head part of an animal. And these clearly are uh, seriomorphic deities, seriomorphic gods. Okay, so um, a uh, a uh, a seriomorphic a something that uh, is, has the form of, of an animal. Okay, so a therianthropy, lycanthropy, changing into an animal. Um, I also actually r read that in literature, in the literature, we have a word called animorphism, which is what happens where a, ca a fictional character transforms into a human-animal hybrid, and normally they have the mind of the animal, and this is a way to explore the the, the theme of identity, or to re examine the relationship between humans and animals. So, a uh, a serianthropy, um, the ability to change into an animal. Uh, a seriomorph, I think somebody who can change into an animal or something that is in the form of an animal. Seriomorphic, having the form of a beast, a seriomorphic god. Um, or zoomorphism, being represented in the form of an animal. So uh, my pen is uh, zoomorphic, it's in the shape of a fish, for example. 
OK, so formality. All of these words are really formal. I'm going to give them a 7.5 a 7 or over formality. Semi-formal conversations, semi-formal or formal writing. Um, as to origin, OK, so serio. Serio talks about an, uh, a, be, uh, a, a dinosaur. Um, ha a, a beast, a theropod, is a type of dinosaur. So, be changing into an animal, and that's the idea. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Seriomorphic. Uh, 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 zo zoomorphic. Serianthropy.